Welcome guys to day 22 and before I even start this video I just want to congratulate you on completing three weeks of our Kinto programming. Now there are a lot of uh, stuff more to learn because there are eight days more remaining but you have already learned a lot of things in Kinto and don't limit yourself to just building this music player because you can like think a lot of uh, programs and a lot of stuff and a lot of tools that you can build now using the things that you have already learned. So obviously there, there are going to be a lot of more advanced and complex videos from now on but you already have the basic tools that you need uh, to build your own project so just go from there and yeah just daily come uh, to this to every day come to a new video and learn something new about Kinter. So 8 days are more remaining and today is day 22. I'm really excited about today because we are going to be building our playlist in our music player. Uh, so let's get started but with a quick recap of what we did in the last video. In the last video we override this uh, cross button and we made sure that we stop the music when this window is closed. So in this video we are going to be using a list box uh, widget to make sure that our playlist is displayed properly. So we are just going to go up and uh, somewhere around here. I'm just going to create a variable let's call it lb1 and I'm going to use this list box function and where do we want this list box to appear? We want this to appear in a root window right now obviously I'm going to be changing this a little bit later but for now just to make sure that you understand what's happening uh, just to show you an example of a list box I'm just going to make it very very simple so list box is basically a collection is a list is a list but it's inside a box uh, you'll know what it is once I uh, create this list box so we have created the list box now we need to add elements inside this list box so how do you do that we just write lb1 dot insert and then inside this we write the index just like uh, in an array if you know programming just like in an array or in some on, on or like in a list generally in a list the index starts from zero similarly in list box the index starts from zero and this when we do lb1 dot insert it requires two parameters the first parameter is what index do you want it to appear and what is the element that you want us to insert so i want it to be inserted in the zeroth index and let's call the first element just song one nothing too complex and let me just copy and paste this below this and the second song i want it to appear in the first index let's call it song two and then like all the other widgets we are just gonna pack it and make sure it appears in our kinta window so let's run this main actually let me just reload it instead of running it again and now you can see there's this song one song two that appears uh, inside a Kinter window. Now you, you can see that it doesn't really look good. Now what kind of uh, format how I want this uh, list box to appear is I want this to appear on the left hand side just in, like in PyCharm you can see all these files are on the left hand side right and all of this code and other stuff is on the right hand side. So I want the playlist to appear on the left hand side and for that we'll have to create a left frame so we'll divide the screen into two parts one is the left part and the other is the right part which is going to contain let me actually just uh, comment this out for right now let's reload it so all of this stuff is going to go into the right part of the window and our playlist is going to go to the left part of the window so for that we'll have to create a left frame and a right frame let me explain it to you with the image that I created so currently in our code we have a middle frame which basically contains these play buttons and stop pause buttons and a bottom frame which contains these mute buttons, rewind button and the volume scale. We haven't created the top frame yet so we'll just create this top frame which will contain the total length and the current time and I'm going to remove this let's make some noise because we are going to be displaying the name of the file inside a playlist so we won't be needing uh, this first label. So anyways, we'll be putting the total length and current time in a top frame. The middle frame are these three buttons and the bottom frame are uh, these scales and these small buttons. Now we'll divide screen into two parts, the left frame and the right frame. In the left frame, we'll contain the playlist and uh, the options to add something to a playlist or to delete something from a playlist. And the right frame will contain these three small frames. So right frame will contain top frame, middle frame and bottom frame. So the first step that we need to do is actually create two frames that is the left frame and the right frame. So that is what we are going to do. So let's go back to our code 
and over here obviously we don't need this let's make some noise because we'll be displaying the file uh, file name inside a playlist so we can just remove this file label from here I know this this file label actually was with us from the starting from day one not from day one maybe from day two but really from the starting of our uh, 30 day journey so it kind of feels sad to remove this uh, now but you know you have to accept change so we'll just remove this from here and then we are going to remove this show details because uh, this file label doesn't exist anymore so we're going to remove that and uh, what we want is we want to create two frames the left frame and the right frame so just above over here just at the very very top we are going to create two variables we're going to going to call it left frame and we're just going to call the frame function and where do you want this left frame to appear obviously both of these left frame and the right frames are still appearing in a root window they are just subsets of our main window so they are inside our root window and inside a root window is a left frame and a right frame and then inside right frame uh, right frame has three children top frame middle frame and bottom frame so let's create the left frame and we just want it to appear in our root window and uh, we are simply going to pack it nothing too complex let's pack it up all right and then we are just going to create actually the fs capital and then we are just going to create the right frame so let's just copy actually instead of copying let's just write it out uh, frame root right frame dot back all right now we need to make sure that we assign uh, all these frames properly so we want the length label and uh, current time label to be in our top frame top frame over here which we haven't created yet so let's actually create the top frame also so we are going to create a new frame let's call it top frame equals to frame uh, and where do we want this top frame to appear we want this to appear in a right frame as you can see with the image this top frame is inside the right frame so we are just going to write instead of root like we always do where do we want this top frame to appear we want this to appear in a right frame and the right frame is indirectly inside a root window so it's kind of like indirectly it's still inside root but over here we'll have to write down right frame and then we can just write um, top frame dot pack all right so we have created the top frame and then we want the length label to be inside this top frame and the current time label to be also inside this top frame so we are just going to copy this from here and instead of root we are going to put in top frame and instead of this root we are going to put in top frame all right so let's go down and let's have a look at our middle frame whether it's all right or not uh, let's go down okay so here is a middle frame now you remember that we have already included the top frame inside the right frame but the middle frame and the bottom frame which we created at the more starting videos are still not inside the right frame so instead of root we'll also write right right frame over here and then we'll go to the bottom frame uh, let's go down where's the bottom frame over here let's paste this again right frame and let's go up and see how it looks uh, actually before that let me uh, just add this this box which we had commented out so we're just gonna copy it and I'm just gonna maybe paste it somewhere uh, over here just below the left frame and over here instead of root I'm gonna put in the left frame because we want the playlist to appear on the left hand side and now let's reload it and see how it looks okay so it's still not on the left hand side uh, it's still at the top so why is this happening this is happening because we have used pack inside our uh, frames so in left frame we have used pack and inside the right frame we have also used pack now if you remember the what pack does is it stacks objects or uh, widgets from top to bottom instead of from left to right and you remember what we had to do when we had to not this let me just minimize that uh, so you remember what we had to do when we had to uh, use the pack functionality and we had to arrange all of these buttons from left to right instead of from top to bottom what we did was we used something known as side equals to left so that is exactly what we are going to use inside these frames so I'm just gonna write side equals to left and uh, that should make sure that a playlist appears on the left hand side uh, so now there is song one there is song two and this playlist appearing is appearing on the left hand side which is exactly how we want it so now the next thing i'm going to do is add two buttons over here at the bottom which will help us add uh, songs to playlist and delete songs from our playlist 
So that is pretty simple. We are just going to create two buttons. Let's call it button one use the button functionality where we want it to appear we want this to appear in a left left frame we're just gonna write left frame and then uh, uh, we're just gonna put in our text which says we can add an image over here but for right now I don't know it's pretty easy to just add uh, text so I'm just gonna go with that and we're just gonna write button one dot pack just to make sure that we know what is happening uh, we are just gonna use pack for now and then the second button is to delete items from the playlist. I'm just going to write left frame. And similarly, we're going to add a text of minus delete. And then we are also going to pack this one. So let's write button two dot pack. And let's reload it. And now you can see it doesn't appear like from top to bottom. It appears like in a stacked kind of manner because we are using uh, the pack functionality. That's why it's appearing from uh, top to bottom stacked. And so for that, we also want these two buttons to appear from left to right. So we are going to do the similar thing. We are just going to write side equals to left. And let's reload it and see if it works. All right. So add is over here. Delete is over here. It looks pretty good. Now, what I want to do is uh, I want to have some space between this playlist. And uh, basically, I want to have some space between the left uh, frame and the right frame. So what we can do is we can go to this left frame. And we can give a pad X of uh, maybe 30 pixels. And let's see how it looks. All right, doesn't look bad. Uh, maybe one one improvement that can be done is maybe this delete button should be more on the left hand side because it's like standing awkwardly. So for that, we can go again to our button two and we can just write side equals to left. And this will make sure that it's attached to the add button. All right, so this looks good. Uh, it's starting to look like a proper music player now, guys. So uh, yeah, one thing that uh, you must be noticing is that the status bar is coming at the bottom and it's only inside uh, the right hand side, the right hand side frame. Uh, so for that, what we are gonna do is, uh, so that it's not just included in the right hand side frame, we are just gonna cut this from over here, go to the top, and maybe paste it somewhere over here so that it's uh, inside the root window and now you see that this is uh, why we have to do that is basically because this is the only uh, widget inside our whole window that's still using root it's still just inside the root it's not inside the left hand side it's not inside the right hand side it's just inside root so to make sure it doesn't clash with the left frame and the right frame we are just gonna put it at the top so that we don't have to worry about it so let's reload it and now it's uh, spanning from left to right so no worries about that uh, so yeah guys this looks pretty uh, pretty good uh, and this is pretty much it for day 22 we have added our playlist options and yeah so in the next video instead of just adding uh, for example let's scroll down so instead of just inserting it manually we'll actually learn how to add songs inside a playlist using our program so yeah i'll see you on day 23 peace out